welcome. I'm Celeste and I'm so grateful that you're here because I'm really excited about today's video. This is a concept that I've dreamt about for months and if you love Gilmore Girls like I do or you love coffee like I do or you're just really excited for the autumn season then these drink recipes that I'm going to share today are for you. So today I'm going to be sharing four recipes that were inspired from scenes where they specifically mentioned these drinks in the Gamma Girls TV series. And these recipes could also be considered Starbucks copycat recipes um, because I'm a Starbucks girly. Uh, so I thought it would be fun to try these recipes at home with my own little Gamma Girls twist. And they're all really easy to make and delicious, so I hope that you enjoy. This recipe is inspired by Season 3, Episode 8, where Rory is settling in for a classic study session, and Lorelai enters the scene, handing her coffee with Ovaltine. This is also a copycat recipe for the Starbucks Chocolate Cream Cold Brew because it reminded me so much of this scene. So you're going to need some cold brew, some vanilla syrup, two tablespoons of Ovaltine, and a fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. Don't forget your glass and of course your handheld frother. You're going to start by combining your Ovaltine with your heavy whipping cream and then you're going to froth that with the handheld frother for about 90 seconds. Once you see the bubbles start to form at the surface of the cold foam, you can froth for about 30 more seconds, pushing the air all the way throughout and you'll get a nice texture for your cold foam. Then it's time to pour in your syrup and your cold brew. Top your drink with ice and then that gorgeous chocolate cold foam. Our next drink comes from season 6, episode 7, where Rory has her 21st birthday party and her grandmother Emily insists that she have her very own cocktail. The Rory ended up being a pink and glittery cocktail, but it reminded me of the Starbucks strawberry refresher, so that's what we're making today. For this recipe, you're going to need some type of pink juice, some lemonade, or you could do half lemonade, half green tea, and some luster dust or food glitter. You're simply going to combine half the lemonade, half the juice, and then sprinkle in that food glitter or luster dust. I think food glitter would definitely sink faster, but the luster dust did the trick, and we had a very gorgeous and fun, refreshing drink. Our next drink is one of my favorites. It's the classic Luke's coffee, but specifically in season one, episode 12, Lorelai says to Luke, this is exceptionally good coffee. And he mentions that he adds nutmeg to it. So we're making our own version of a spiced black coffee. And of course, you're gonna start with some fresh grounds and you're gonna wanna grind those up. Then you are going to use your favorite brewing method, which mine is the French press. And you are going to brew some hot water, add your grounds to the French press, and then let the water steep the grounds for about four minutes.
Once your coffee is ready, you're simply going to add your spice to your cup. Then you can sweeten it if you would like. And I decided to add additional spice at the top. And on this day, I chose to make some warm danishes to go with Luke's coffee because, of course, Lorelai loves Danish Day, especially with her Luke's coffee. Our final drink comes from season 5 episode 17 where Lorelai cheats on Luke's coffee with a Weston's mocha chocolate caramel swirlachino with extra whipped cream. Lorelai finally returns to Luke's after their breakup and he's like, what is this? And she's like, this is not coffee, but if it were physically possible to make love to a beverage, this would be the one. And I get it, with all that extra whipped cream and caramel and chocolate, it's delicious. So you're going to start out by brewing your espresso. I personally love using my Nespresso machine because it makes quick and delicious espresso. Then you're going to heat up some milk. I did about a cup and a half for my two ounces of espresso. You can do more or less. And then you're going to froth that up really well, about a minute. Then comes the fun part where you get to add the caramel and the chocolate to your glass. You can do as much or as little as you want. I did a lot because that's what the drink called for in my opinion. And then you're going to add the espresso over that syrup. You know you frothed your milk well when you have that silky texture. Then you're going to give that a good stir and add the extra whipped cream, chocolate drizzle, and caramel drizzle. Then it's finally time to enjoy. Let me know which Gilmore Girls inspired recipe you're ready to try in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!